Welcome back to Upfront. We're looking ahead now to a new governor in 2019, a new legislature, and a possible lame duck session before the end of this year. We're talking today with the two co-chairs of the Wisconsin Future Caucus, Republican Adam Nealon of Pewaukee and Democrat Amanda Stuck of Appleton. Amanda, I'll begin with you and give us a sense of what we can expect the next four years. We do have a divided power now in Madison. Are we going to have four years of gridlock or are we going to be able to get things done? Well, we really have those two options. Either it's going to be total gridlock or people are going to be forced to work together to get some things done. Um, so I'm certainly hoping for the scenario where we're really forced to work together, that in some ways this is a good case for all of us because it forces everybody to work together and have to compromise to get some things done. I think certainly the future caucus, I hope, can be a part of that since we've already started this already in past sessions. We didn't wait for this to happen. We've already been working on this and building those relationships that hopefully we can work across the aisle in a good way. Where do you see opportunities to work together? Well, I think there are a lot of things that even Governor-elect Tony Evers ran on that I think we can find common ground on, such as putting more money to schools. What that level is, we'll see. We're going to have mm -hmm. discussions, um, but I think that's one area. I know um, Tony Evers ran on protecting people with pre-existing conditions. There's a large consensus within our legislature that we need to get that done for the people of Wisconsin. Um, he ran on putting more money into roads. I think uh, that's an important thing that the legislature needs to look at. Uh, in the assembly, we, we passed a plan last session that would do just that. And there's quite a few other things, uh, especially in economic development um, and different types of education programs that we're going to be able to find some common ground to work on. What do millennials want you to work on? So many things. They're really not limited. They are worried about access to good paying jobs. They're worried about health care. They're worried about student loans. They're worried about technology and how that's going to fit into the future and what that might even mean for their jobs. Um, so they're really worried about so many things and that's why they really do want us to get to work and they don't want two years of gridlock. So, so uh, the last couple of weeks we've had leadership uh, from the assembly on this program. We had Speaker Voss and we had Minority Leader Gordon Hintz on here. Uh, and, and you could feel the divide. I mean, there's not a lot of love in the room right now. Maybe that will change. Uh, do you worry, uh, and I'll begin with you, Representative Nealon, that this lame duck session, depending on what comes out of it, could damage relationships going forward, that some of the things you think are achievable might not be so achievable if certain things happen during the session? Well, that's always a possibility, you know, and you have to weigh uh, everything when, when you vote on bills, when you put together legislation. Uh, but when you look at historically speaking, we were able to pass almost 90% of our legislation last session in a bipartisan fashion. We were able to do, uh, through my committee, the Jobs and the Economy, every single bill that we passed happened at some level of bipartisan uh, vote. So I think, you know, and you still had contentious issues that really there was a divide uh, amongst Republicans and Democrats last session. But we were able to get past that uh, on other issues. So I don't think that there is any issue that's going to be out there that's going to divide us and tear us apart to the point we're not going to be able to find common ground on other issues that matter to us. Um, but we'll see. How important do you think this, uh, this extraordinary session, lame duck session, whatever you want to call it, is to the future working relationship between the Democratic governor and the Republican legislature? I think it's really important. We can either set a tone now that we're all going to be adults in the room and show up and work together, or we can show that some of us want to act like children and make it be about power instead of really working together. So I think this really is an opportunity to either show how we can do it going forward for the next two years or to start off on the really wrong foot and really set a precedent that isn't good. I've heard the two of you talk about the issue of trust in the past when, when you do appearances together. Uh, when you talk about trust, what do you mean? I, I, because you're, you're, you know, your parties don't agree on some key issues. They may agree on certain things, but they don't agree on some key issues. Are people, uh, Representative Nealon, willing to uh, accept the fact that you're working with Democrats to get things done? I think so. I think part of trust is providing an opportunity for everybody's voice to be heard and not stifle debate or discussion. I think that's one thing that we want to do in the future caucus and also something that I've done as chairman of the Jobs and the Economy. And I think Amanda can attest that I've never cut her off. And You know, you have to allow people to make their case. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, you know, you have to do what you think is right based on your convictions, based on your experience, uh, based on why you were sent to Madison. But I think part of that building that trust is allow all the voices in the room 
to have their say uh, and to be as fair as possible in, in how that discussion and that debate uh, transpires. I'll give you the final word on that. Yeah, relationships are really, really key in getting anything done. Uh, if you never ever talk to anybody on the other side of the aisle until you're on the floor already set to vote against them and fight against them, you really aren't going to be able to work together on issues. So that's why the Future Caucus is so, so important. We get opportunities to actually sit down and talk outside of the Capitol, outside of the floor when we're voting, and find areas where we agree. And uh, as Adam said, he's a great example of we're building trust even in things like committee. We're trusting that the person on the other side of the aisle isn't going to use their position to shut you out of the debate or to make you look bad, but to really truly give you opportunities to be at the table and interact is really crucial to making sure we can get things done. Representative Amanda Stuck from Appleton, the Democrat. Representative Adam Nealon, the Republican from Pewaukee. It's good to have both of you on the program today. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com, is tracking the transition from the Walker administration to the Evers administration. You'll find that news on the Transition Watch section of its website, WISPolitics.com. The merger of UW's two-year colleges with four-year universities is well underway. We'll find out how it's working for the campuses in southwestern Wisconsin. That's next on Upfront.